Okay, trainer Brad Cox. Yes, he's won a Kentucky Derby via disqualification. It feels a little better if he can win it with the horse crossing the wire first. And I think that's the case with Catch Him Freedom this year. I think he has a big chance. Catch Him Freedom on the outside here. He's the winner of the Louisiana Derby. Very good prep for Derby 150. It's a mile and three sixteenths. Distance not going to be a problem. And Catching Freedom, I think, is going to be a horse that comes from off the pace. There's going to be a lot of speed in this derby, and I think he's going to benefit for him. Look at him here as he's turning for home. He's going in company in unison with his stable mate. And while down the stretch, you know, the rider asks him to finish up a little bit, the most important part of this work for me is the gallop out, because the further he goes, the better he goes. He practices like he plays. He's a horse that I think is going to love the distance the further they go, the better he goes. He's passing a Dallas Stewart runner. That wasn't by design. They just had a target in front of him, and I think that helped him. And you can see the rider on the inside going a little easier. Now the jockey and the rider on Catching Freedom just asking him to finish up around the turn. And the further they go around this turn, down the backside on the gallop out, you're going to see Catching Freedom just start to catch his stride. I think he's really going to run well this weekend, uh, excuse me, in, in, in a Kentucky Derby weekend. And I like the fact that he showed a new dimension coming from way back in the Louisiana Derby. It wasn't ideal circumstances, but he overcame it and got the job done. This is a horse I'm really, really liking going into the Kentucky Derby.